what's popping everybody back with another video in this video we got to talk about estg walking out mid interview on bootleg kev's podcast and then he issued a statement about the whole situation we're going to get into it so we're going to show a clip of the line of questioning that bootleg kev did that somehow triggered stg and had him so upset and bothered he walked off the podcast how you see the picture you ain't read the article that came with it i just saw a youtube video where they were talking about uh you and like i was just watching some of your uh, high school highlights in your college like i saw like what youtube video are you seen dude i don't know man it was like a it was like a youtube video it showed like you announcing that you're going to indiana state and what's a youtube video called i don't know i just literally typed in estg football highlights and I was like, this dude was a beast. You played linebacker, right? What do I got to do with music right now? No, I'm just curious because I'm a big football fan. So like, I'm just like, I just, I, I'm a huge football fan. And I find it fascinating that like, you really like have like a real high level, like football run, you know what I'm saying? Before the rap like took off. So yeah, I just think it's fast. It's obviously a part of your story. So I know it doesn't have anything to do with like, what's going on right now. But. So apparently giving somebody props for being a phenomenal high school and college football player is a bad thing in 2023, at least in ESTG's mind, because that sent him like into a very bad space where he just didn't want to be there anymore. And he stormed off. I can't explain it. I feel like it was pretty corny. But to add some context, here's some football highlight clips. <laughs> So after the bootleg Kev interview clip went viral, ESTG jumped on Instagram and said, at bootleg Kev, you trying to play it like I walked out because of football, like I ain't did plenty of interviews talking about playing, talk about it in my music. You asking me if I remember the old man corn star, if I believe in aliens, the NFL combine, what the does that have to do with my album dropping Friday? And I literally just walked out that interview two hours ago and you already got a clip up. You trying to go viral, LOL. I got real stuff going on. Ask around. I don't feel like playing, so please don't play with me because I play crazy. All right, so this is where it gets interesting and a little bit funny. So Twitter reacted to ESTG's response and it was, you just got to hear it. So this is what this one guy said. This response from ESTG actually makes it worse. He want the entire interview to be about his album. I might be in a minority, but I have no idea who Eastern Standard Time G is. The interview is a vehicle for people to learn more about the artist. And then another person replied and said, Eastern Standard Time is crazy. Laughing emoji. Then this person says he wanted bro to talk about an upcoming album, the whole podcast. So after that, a couple fans started to run with the theory that ESTG is an industry plant. So this guy says the industry plant walked out because he's sensitive about his past and don't want it to be exposed. He really not a gangster and was raised a privileged child who went to private Catholic school and had an athletic talent. He ain't slick. Everybody know, LOL. Then this person said he's just scared. It'll mean he wasn't gangster. This person said, why even accept the interview if he didn't want to do it? This other person says music isn't hot enough for him to be acting like that. Then someone says ESTG went to an all boys high school, St. X Catholic private school for football. You know, he was out there being a good kid. Then the mind of HY posted on Twitter. This is another example why hip hop is dying, acting too cool. When I've never heard a single person say, I can't wait for the next ESTG interview. Then this was kind of funny. This person posted it like a meme and said ESTG when people say they know him from playing football instead of selling fat. <laughs> now, me personally, I don't know if he's an industry plant, but it was very corny of ESTG to just walk out on bootleg Kev. Bootleg Kev is one of those like hip hop head, purist, you know, real hip hop fan. And, you know, it's just wrong to do somebody like that. Don't even come on their podcast if you don't want to answer questions. And it's not like bootleg Kev is like Vlad and asking these crazy intrusive questions. Like he just gave him props for being a good athlete 
and he didn't even say anything crazy even asking him about aliens and current events ain't ain't really nothing to get mad about so i don't see why it triggered estg to just storm off like that it just came off really like arrogant and corny it was just a bad look for him especially since he's not like a world world renowned artist like he's not like he's kanye west or jay-z or anything for him to act like that on bootleg kev's platform is crazy to me i do feel like he's trying to keep up this persona of being this like ultra gangster and it's just coming off really like weird like he's like doesn't want anybody to know anything about him especially his past it's like what are you trying to cover up what are you you know it's nothing wrong with having being an athlete like good example dave east was a phenomenal basketball player you know nobody just discredits his like street ties or or clowns him because he was a great basketball player like dave east even cameron was a good basketball player nobody brings that up in a discouraging way like that's just part of his story so i don't even know what was going through stg's mind or where he's would get upset because he's bringing up oh you were good at football it's, it's just like it's people that don't know who this guy is and that's just part of his story it shouldn't be a big deal bootleg kev was going to get to the music it wasn't like he was going to do a two-hour interview and not even mention the album and not mention the music but it's no way he doesn't even have a big enough catalog to talk about music for two whole hours like it's like bro it's not like you you're a legend in the game and we got two hours of just like you could do a two-hour interview about music with jay-z or drake or something but come on estg stop it so yeah i feel like he owes bootleg kev an apology for sure but that's just me that's my opinion drop a comment let me know what you think and i'll see you on the next one i'm out